What is up guys, I am Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video, and today's video is another weapon review. Today's weapon review is on the secondary weapon called the Plasma Pistol, and to be completely honest guys, I've been holding this review off for quite some time now because this is certainly not one of the best guns of Pixel Gun 3D. It is only good for people up to around level 8, where you don't go against anybody who have any sort of armor whatsoever, but as soon as you start seeing people who have like iron armor, you're better off just spending a little bit more for a secondary like the old comrade or the flower power or the crystal fast death because those ones are ones you can actually take people with that sort of armor out at a higher level good luck trying to use this gun because this gun takes a heck of a lot of shots to take a ruby armored player out and pretty much everybody at a higher level will have a better gun than the plasma pistol so you're better off just using something else so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna join into a silent school match i've been having such a difficult time trying to do this video guys because everybody seems to be doing the glitch now in pixel gun 3d after more and more people find out about it people just don't understand that it's ruining the game and uh yeah i've been trying to do this video for over an hour now but i've always been stopped short by people using the glitches so, we'll see how things turn out here. Um, I'm going to join into this silent school match, and uh, we'll see how many kills I can get. I probably will be able to get a decent amount of kills right at the very beginning, just because people will not be actually playing the game, it looks like. So, we'll take that advantage to be able to take some of these people out, but as soon as they start shooting, then... Uh, <laughs> it's probably not going to result in me being able to get any kills, so we'll see how things turn out, guys. It does look cool. I mean, if you really wanted a cool-looking gun, then this probably would be a good one for you. But in my personal opinion, I'd just recommend to get the Hot Plasma Pistol over this one because the Hot Plasma Pistol is actually one you can get some decent gameplay with at a level that I am at right now. Level 24, to be exact. Against people who don't play the game, you can actually get a few kills, but even people who don't have any armor whatsoever, as you guys see... It's a, quite a few shots to take these people out. I mean, that's a decent amount for somebody who doesn't have any armor whatsoever. Something like the Sparkly Blaster will have a lot of less shots to take somebody out. Um, but as you guys can see there, I'm actually managing to take these people out. But as soon as they take out something like the Impulse Sniper Rifle, you're just not going to be able to take them out. Um, I'm going to try to tell them... Nah, I'm not going to even bother. Because if they decide to use the glitch, then that's just... That's just them. So, yeah, guys. I mean, if you go against people in a higher level match and they just don't have any armor whatsoever you actually might be able to take them out but nine times out of ten if you are a level that i am at i'm level 24 nine times out of ten when you go into a match at a higher level you're not going to be able to find anybody who doesn't have any armor they will have at least some sort of armor nine times out of ten somebody will have at least wooden armor and most most times they'll have something like gold armor or higher so yeah i mean it's it's just the way of life definitely definitely uh a gun that you're gonna have the best gameplay at a lower level and if you do choose to use this at a higher level just be prepared that you're gonna fail a lot of times and there's really no way to prevent that i mean everybody will be able to take you out and you're just gonna be failing many 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 times it's uh that's just kind of the way things work here in Pixel Gun with a gun like this. It's it's just one of those starter guns. It's that's really what this gun is made for. It's one of the original guns in Pixel Gun 3D, and it's one of those ones you're only gonna see the very beginning players using. And I mean, you're not gonna really find anybody at a higher level using this. I've never seen anybody using this. The one of the worst guns I've seen a higher level player using was the plasma rifle, which was the rifle version of this. And uh, that's probably about the lowest damage gun I've seen at a higher level actually in combat. Um, never seen anybody use the plasma pistol, so I'll be quite amazed if eventually I see somebody who uses the plasma pistol. But most likely, they won't, and that's just how things work. If you do buy ammo, you do get around 60 shots, but even that is still not a lot of shots. You're going to run out of ammo just so quickly with that, and that's really one of the big shortcomings. This could actually be a decent gun if it had a high capacity, like something like the Sparkly Blaster here if i can find it up we can see how many shots you get in the sparkly blaster it's the same amount but the sparkly blaster is a little better than this it has a lot higher lethality therefore you can actually kill people um even though it says it only has one more lethality you can get like at least two times better gameplay than the plasma pistol so yeah guys um i mean there's not really many good things i can say about this gun if you're watching this and you're a lower level Go get this. I mean, not a lower level like level 18. I mean lower level like level 2 or level 3. 
those are the levels you're going to get decent gameplay with this gun. If you're going to go against people who are higher level, don't. Please, if you're on a budget for coins, just save them. Save them. And I promise you, you'll get better gameplay with any other secondary compared to this. You'll even get better gameplay with the pistol gun than this one. And that's the reason because the uh, pixel gun is actually a easy one to aim with, and that's the truth with that. The, the plasma pistol is very difficult to aim, and I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I just it's very difficult to even take people out without any armor, like this person here. It's taken quite a lot of times to take this person out, and this person. I don't even think they have any armor whatsoever. It's just, it's hard. It's very hard, and uh, I've been trying to do this video for quite some time now, guys, and this is the best gameplay I've been getting. I've not been able to get anything better than this. It's just, it's impossible. It's impossible to win a match with the Plasma Pistol. I mean, maybe, maybe by a sheer stroke of luck you can possibly win a match, but you're not usually going to be able to beat people with the Plasma Pistol. It's just, it's just not going to happen, so, yeah, I mean... Most likely, there's the hot plasma pistol. The hot plasma pistol definitely, definitely a better choice if you really would like an area damage secondary weapon and you're a higher level player. Um, I'd recommend to get the plasma releaser. That's just that's like the primo area damage secondary gun, and that's the one you can actually even win matches with. This the uh, that one is the good one, but the other ones are not, and that's. That's why, so. These people look like they're using their magical wands now, so I don't know how much longer I can last into this match, but I will stay because these people aren't really having much armor whatsoever, and uh, this is about the best gameplay I've gotten so far, and I don't really want to give up on this match, so we'll just see how long we can last. Somebody with ruby armor, you're not going to be able to take them out. That guy, Alex, will be able to take me out every single time I see him, even if he's AFK. And, you know, he's not really paying attention to his game too much. Eventually, he'll he'll eventually see you. And that's that's just the problem. This guy is absolutely failing at doing his little glitch here. And, uh, you know, oh well. Somebody who is not good at the game is probably not going to be able to be using their glitch very well. So, yeah, you, you, you kind of suck. Um, and this guy sucks too, so. Oh well, um, I'll just try to get some of these kills here. It's just, it's the greatest thing ever when I kill people who are using the glitch. So I'm going to stay in this match. But uh, yeah, many kills are just not going to happen with the plasma pistol. Somebody who is standing without really chatting too much, you can take them out. But uh, most likely not. Um, I've really found with people who use the glitch, um, if you see them shooting the grenade at you, don't even bother continuing to shoot them. Just run. Just run. Um, that's that's really the only way you'll be able to avoid people who do that stupid glitch all the time, and you'll be able to actually take them out. So I've gotten a score of 440 so far, which is not that bad for a gun like this. Really, it's not that bad. And everybody watching this who doesn't really understand how bad this is, you're probably saying that... Why is that good? 440. How many kills is that? That's 11 kills. That's not really that great. And it's not great compared to other guns in Pixel Gun 3D, but for the Plasma Pistol, that's good. That is definitely good. So, you know, I mean, what are you going to do with something like this that probably costs around 100 coins? That's what I would guess. I mean, I, I got this gun so long ago, I cannot remember the price, guys. I'm sorry about that, but, uh, you know, it's hard to remember the price of 100 different guns in, for like a year. You know, it's just not possible to remember the prices. You can probably go on the Pixel Gun 3D wiki page to find out the price of it exactly if you really are destined to. But since this is one of the very first secondary weapons you're going to get in the game, you're going to automatically know what the price is regardless what level you are. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. Anyways, um, I'm going to see how many people I can get here and there. There's actually a kill there, amazingly. So, um... Wow, I cannot believe I w I'm actually getting kills here and there. But I got a defeat. I got 13 kills. That's probably about the best you're going to find in a match at a higher level. Um, you're probably not going to win. Um, that's just the way it works here with the Plasma Pistol. And like I said earlier, it looks cool. That's really one of the only good things about this gun. Everything else is is bad. That's really everything else I have to say about this is negative. And uh, I'm sorry if you like this gun. This is just a review. It's just a review. I'm just saying, stating my honest opinions on it. It's not that I don't like this gun. It's just that I don't get good gameplay with it at all. And, uh, you know, I actually like some of the guns in Pixel Gun 3D that do not perform well. Um, 
like, uh, gosh, I, if I go into my list of guns, the Eindringling, there's a perfect one. The Eindringling is a very underpowered gun, but it's one of my most favorite. I really love the Eindringling. It's just a very classic assault rifle and one that you have a lot of fun with. But the, the plasma pistol, um, I just, I don't like it either way. So, I mean... Yeah, so this is the plasma pistol review, guys. I mean, I don't really have much else I need to say about this gun. I'm, I'm done with reviewing reviewing this. It's just, it's so hard. It's so hard to do a review on this. And I'm sorry if I messed up on anything in this review. It's just, um, this is the best you're going to find in a match. And uh, it's difficult to do a review on things like this so often when you have a gun that's this bad. So, yeah, guys, this is the plasma pistol review. Um, if you would like to see reviews on the other area damage weapons that then uh, I would highly recommend to check out the playlist I do have on my channel. I have a review on the plasma rifle, the hot plasma pistol, and the plasma releaser. I have reviews on all the plasma guns in the game, so I would highly recommend you all checking them out because they will definitely, definitely make your day better. So, yeah guys, also if you are a little tired of weapon reviews in Pixel Gun 3D, you might want to check out my other series I do on my channel. I do numerous other ones rather than just weapon reviews. I do colored weapons gameplay, random weapon gameplay, play in very many more series on this game. Also deadly games and 1v1s and stuff. So yeah, guys, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment, favorite, and subscribe for some more Pixelgun 3D videos. I actually managed to get a double kill there, I think. Was I able to get a double kill? Not entirely sure. So um, probably didn't. Probably probably completely failed, but you know, that's, that's what happens with the plasma pistol. So yeah, guys, let's get one last kill here. It might be this person. Uh, okay, it's not going to be this person. <laughs> um, maybe this person, actually. Let's see how many shots... Okay, I guess not. Um, let's go pay for some more ammo real quick, and let's get this last kill. Let's do it. I'm prepared. It might actually take a decent amount of time, because uh, something like this, well, it might take up to a minute before I get a kill. So let's do this thing, guys. I'm ready to get the last kill. Um... Nope, not going to happen. Not even going to happen with a ruby armored player. So let's go try to find that one person player. Uh, here's somebody with diamond armor. So let's see how many shots it is to somebody with diamond armor. That's 10 shots. 10 full shots against that person. That is 20 shots against a diamond armored player. And I think I killed them. I'm pretty sure I killed them, but I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't look like I killed them, but I did kill the other person, so I'm good. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.